Alright, let's dive into this game that I like, would like to call Assassin's Creed 3. So let me put it in. Yep, I forgot to put it in when I first started this video. Alright, let's get it in. Let's ignite the revolution. And I did not steal that phrase from any box at all. Alright, I already got my codes in and stuff, so I don't have to put any of that in. So, pretty much what I'm going to be doing with this and Dragon's Dogma, I'm just going to alternate back and forth. I'll do one set, Assassin's Creed, then I'll do Dragon's Dogma, and then I might slip in a little bit of Skyrim and Madden 13 career mode. And I do want to get to the multiplayer of this game too, so I might put some of that in. Assassin's Creed 3, baby! Okay, hey, single player. Start a new game. I, IG kill sh switch. Yeah, I'll put that by name. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. Several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Absturdo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show its history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and the Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Man, that's awesome.
<clears throat> and I put subtitles on too. We're here. Let's go. All right, here we go. Same old controls so far, anyways. after it, never once considering how in the world Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. 
What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Where? Now. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. instructions and kill the two Templars. Find out what the temple wants from you.
Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once? Let's see here, can I finally put on some turtles? the opera house and be quick about it don't expect to be here long i'll bring her round at once right. invitation please shall i take your coat sir Gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. It expanded something fierce with odd bilious bursts and blew itself all over me. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Watch a nice. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Alright, I'm gonna pause here. <laughs>